What's going around, everybody? What's going on? How you doing? This is Free to Be, aka Free, aka Belly is so pregnant. I'm out here, and I figure I'll just deliver messages while I'm here. Yes, excuse the sweat, honey, but sweat is good, right? Detoxing over here. So I just wanted to send out a little message to everybody, okay? about pre-pregnancy. Pre-pregnancy is so important, right? Like, everybody wants to be pregnant, but nobody's thinking about pre-pregnancy, okay? And I, you know on this channel, I'm not just, just talking to the females, I'm mostly talking to the males. So let's just get started with your internal organs, okay? Male and female. If you know, that your internal organs have been compromised, you know, due to whatever behaviors, you know, risky behaviors, as they say, <laughs> that you have done in your earlier years, maybe, you know, everybody makes mistakes, nobody's perfect, right? But let's say you call it a STD or, or, or it's something that um, is viral or bacterial, whichever one it is, but you got it now, right? You need to take care of that first. First and foremost, you gotta clear the, sy the system out of all things that really are not supposed to be there. Now, as humans, we ingest many, 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 many things every day, and we, most of us, have high tolerance to a lot of the different bacteria out there. You know, that's why a lot of um, diseases and illness that used to happen in the past are really not happening anymore because we're getting tolerant. But now, we have these mean old... The horse is saying I'm right. <laughs> the horse is saying I'm right. Hey, how you doing? The horse might want to get on camera. But anyway, I can't remember which horse it is because I'm still trying to get familiar with the names. Um, I know one is Flora. Let me see if she'll come up. Hold on, let's see. Where's she at? Can I get her? Hi. You want to say hi to everybody? Do you want to say hi to everybody? <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, clear that out first, okay? Um, there's a lot of natural remedies, and maybe we'll do a video on that um, more in depth on which um, plants and herbs and seeds and petals and all those things that you can kind of... Um, take you know because some of the medications are very like strong to take or you might be allergic to some of them or you might just not trust them you know all everybody has their own different reasons of different things but um just to give you some options i am gonna do a video on that but um start to take care of those issues first all right before you even think about you know okay i'm going to procreate and these are for the people who already done found not found that's not a good word but already have um become intertwined with somebody that you can really see the rest of your life with not delusionally okay i check out my video on demon babies you don't want to go there because that just breaks down you know the choices who you decide to have babies with will affect the personality the demeanor the characteristics of your child you know the apple don't fall too far from the tree so you really got to take a look at that um primary uh first you know is this the right person is this the person that's going to um uh basically be there all the way around right 100 percent, not 80 not 70 not 20 i'm just seeing if they behind me because sometimes the donkey comes out and they like leave their their cages and stuff like that. So <laughs> I was just seeing the wells behind me. That way I can like um, show you. But anyway, um, so check out Demon Babies. I'll talk about that part. But right now I'm just talking about clearing out your system of all the things. And that also includes bad habits. You know, as humans, you know, we tend to pick up a lot of bad habits. And even in our society as a whole, you know, um, as we function as a whole, there's a lot of bad habits 
pretty much everywhere, right? If you really stop and think about it. Um, but now it's time for you to stop and think about it, right? What habits? Men, you might be all into the beer and all into the drinking and all this other kind of stuff. But, like, how is that going to affect, you know, your future? You know, how is that going to um, uh, determine what kind of seeds, what kind of sperm is being made? You know, so your side has a lot to do with whether a woman gets pregnant or not. It's just not always the, oh, there's something wrong with you, something wrong with the females, always something wrong with the eggs, something wrong with the ovaries. Most of the time it's men, but men don't want to... Uh, get their self checked out due to, you know, insecurities, fear, all kinds of stuff, you know? So, but if you're really trying to really do it the right way, you know, you're really trying to not um, create any more problems in your f for your future and your future's family life, um, your core family life. And when I mean family, I mean what you're about to create as a generation. And I'm talking about your past generations because that's a whole other video, right? I'm just talking about what you, as if you were generation one, what's going to be generation two? How is that going to look to you, male and female? Who is it that you would like to create with? And this is not a lust issue. This is a connection issue. You know what I mean? This is like, you know, um, a spiritual issue <laughs> um, that I'm talking here. If you can't find that, or you not can't find, let, let me not say find, but if you haven't um, met that person as of yet in this lifetime, then you should wait, you know? Even people talking about, oh, well, my age, my this, my that, da 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 time is this. Yeah, time, you know, people put too much time, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, emphasis on time but with all the different advancements that we have come about without technology okay i'm not even talking about technology but just all the development mentally that we have created over the eons of cycling as human beings we have the capacity to do a lot of things on our own right so the first one is to self-heal you know men go get your 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 blood work go see you know what you need to uh, if your testosterone level is uh, low, uh, if your sperm count is low, they could do all of that, you know. There's so many uh, online services where you don't have to go to a clinic in your area or hospital. You can just, you know, order the kit, the sample kit, and, and uh, do the test. A lot of them have it at pharmacies. You might be surprised, it might be at the Walmart pharmacy, you know, but... Um, Start doing those things. Start looking internal. Look at the eternal numbers to see where your levels are. Even if it comes to iron, you know, your hemoglobin and, and, and gluten, your sugar levels and all of that matters, you know. Are you eating McDonald's every every other day or whatever? You know, Subway, whatever it is, Taco Bell, I don't care. Are you going out to eat once a week? I mean, it's cool to go out to eat and all that. I'm not saying that. But some of the places that are consuming the real estate space um deals with a lot of foods that are really not good for you high sodium tastes good but you know if you look at the packaging and look up those ingredients you'll be like oh gosh you know how you doing it tastes so well but this could actually harm me so just little things like that if you know you need to exercise if you know you need to you know whatever it is you know I, i'm just it, it could be infinite because we're talking about what, how many billion people? Eight billion people? So that's different, you know, all different angles of what needs to be done when it comes to yourself. But start taking a look at a 360 perspective first, okay? And then once you get that all balanced and know what kind of supplements and know what kind of iron and know what kind of things you need to do to either elevate something or lower something um, in order for you to have more healthier um, cells and organs and all of that is just going to produce into wonderful eggs and wonderful sperm, right? So start looking to that, the mental health part, the demon babies part. Go look at my other video. I don't know. It was like a year ago. Um, I don't keep track of time, so I can't remember, but it's there because I don't have many videos out now, but you know, it is there. Um, so that's what I wanted to come to you too. Females, same thing. I, I know you hear this all the time. That's why I'm not really speaking because you know about you know, blood tests and blood work and how that's important for you to um, basically get that taken care of, right? So once you get that 
straighten down and you work on that. And it's going to take time. It's not like, oh, I can go buy these supplements today and I'll be, all, I'll be able to have a baby next month. No, sometimes it might take, you know, six months, a year just for all the damage in your body to repair itself, you know? Yes, miracles happen overnight, but when it comes to the complexity of the human body, which science has not mastered yet, right? <laughs> Take some accountability and get to know who you are internally, and then you can go on to the next level, of course, after you done did the mental work and the spiritual work and, and all the other kind of stuff, okay? Because we all complaining. Everybody's complaining about, oh, you know, this generation, this world. But you can start by making sure that you have the best, healthiest seeds possible in order for you to create a healthy, prosperous baby. All right, have a wonderful day and night, everybody.